so welcome to a new vlog this is our last sea day heading to Barbados today we'll get there probably in the morning um, and then it's travel home day so we're just sat on the balcony having tea and coffee before we go and get breakfast we did have a lion this morning I think we woke up about 20 past 8 which is probably the latest we've actually woken up walking through decade through Keel and Cow and then on our way I think we're going to the Keys for breakfast yeah. everywhere Canada does the same if you're wanting like avocado toast um, the, you can go to the Meridian but I think well probably both the boys are going to have a fry up so it's we've been being really warm outside today inside it's really quiet We will try and get out to deck eight if we can get a seat. So yeah, ripples here, empty. So as you walk straight down this deck eight, you've got ripples, you've got Cindy, the keys, past the keys, you've got the clubhouse, through the clubhouse you have Sunset Bar. So this is the keys. I have probably shown you this before, but these are the three options. So pancakes, waffles, eggs, omelette, some for English breakfast. You just go to whichever one you want and pick your food. We just tell the people what you want in the um, fry up station. That is just self service. You don't need to ask them. Unless you want poached eggs, you can ask for poached eggs. And then when you come around the corner, you've got your drinking facilities, teas, coffees, juices, water, and then pastries. So we keep getting our muffins from. So I've got much left this morning. When it is 20 to 10, we got up really late. We got fresh fruit. There's actually two pots: <laughs> smoothies, jams, buns, and bread. But there's no toaster. And then oh you've got your teas and coffees there. This is what I've got from the keys. I've just got a selection of pastries and a muffin. All of this typical sausages, hash browns, beans. This side got the same. You got like poached eggs, scrambled eggs. And yeah, this looks good. There wasn't much of a selection today, like around the pastry section. Normally it's really full. Um, I'm hoping they put more fruit bowls out after a bit this. And here comes Ollie now. And here's breakfast. I'm just going to show you what Ollie's got for. Do you get that every morning? Yeah. Good. We're all done at the keys just to make you aware they shut at 10. Like we were out late early today, but literally 10 a.m. them shutters came down. That's probably why there wasn't much left um, near the pastries area. I think the buffet is open till about 11. So if you get up late like we have today, you have had the option for the buffet. Yeah, all closed up. A lot of people are inside today and um, just noticed, but I think it's because obviously a lot of us are going home tomorrow, so a lot of packing. Oh, yeah, completely empty then. Got this green and co restaurant. So we're just going to walk through the clubhouse and then go to Sunset Bar. So we came to the Sunset Bar, there's quite a few tables empty. The Whirlpool is empty. Have you? Such a nice day today. So. No, we're kind of just floating. You said that we will just kind of be in one position. I'll just show you the view of the back of the ship. Oh, we are moving. So we are going to do a ship tour today. We're not going to pop it on this vlog. It's going to be a separate vlog. So if you are planning to come into the area, definitely check that out. That's probably going to be our last vlog of this trip. It's going to be the ship tour. I'll just show you how nice this bar area is and we've just got a booth there come up to the sky dome having a drink so we've got a coffee always got a beer oliver you got the beer car one no i got the fruit punch yeah paradise punch paradise punch yeah um just on the screen yeah so there's a movie on the screen at the moment and um, this is our current view having our drinks 
We were at Sixth Street down at the lunch. We came the other day, me and Olga, and I saw this, this cob salad. And it looks amazing, so we've come here to have that. I sat in the corner. There's a cedar. Not too busy. So I'm going to go for the pickup chips, the cob salad, side of onion rings, and the chocolate and peanut blondie cookie. What are you going for, Ollie? Pickled chicks, patty melt, and New York cheese. Oh, so he's going for the same syrup as me, the patty melt, and the cheesecake. And Oliver's going for the same starter. Pickled chicks. You want pancakes again? Yeah, pancakes. And the blood and blood. Yeah, but, so again, this is included in your cruise fare. We got the cheap pickled chicks. So just seven fried chicken, crispy chicken. Are they, are they as good as Disney? No. Oh, do they compare to Disney only? They all do look, don't look as good as Disney, but they do look good though. Good? Good. All the food's arrived, so I've got from a cob salad, some dirty fries, onion rings, some Philly stick, burger sandwich, and then Oliver's gone for the pancakes, so we really enjoyed them the other day. So I'm going to point to all of this now. They were nearly all packed. Just got my suitcase left to do, which we'll just put the creams and shower gels, etc., in later tonight. So we need to put this out at 5 pm, between 5 pm and midnight, so it's not too bad. Ollie is making the most of the sun on the balcony. It's a proper sun trap out here today. And yeah, yeah, normally we're in the shade, so it's actually a good side that we're on this time. So it is very busy down there. cream and then we're gonna go sunset bar later and watch the sunset but yeah I believe it's time to pack it's gonna be a long travel day home tomorrow so we came down to ripples and it has the biggest queue I've seen ever for, for ripples for an ice cream but you know we are gonna wait at the back of it and get one one person serving so I don't help but... yeah it's the biggest queue I've ever seen for ripples not that one though never mind we gave up on the queue for ripples as we were stood there for about 10 minutes and hadn't even moved but if you go to the keys which is literally next door they do cakes i'm gonna grab a cake for now chocolate sticky chocolate cake lemon drizzle oh i had that the other night that's nice <gasps> Marble, that looks good chocolate cheesecake yeah key lime pie yeah and raspberry trifle trifle right so i'm gonna have this marble cheesecake and turkey lamb no 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 and a trifle it's, it's just repeated again you can get your salads from here as well if you want to be healthy we got the top deck Sam has some drinks we had our cake we had some drinks this is a DJ it's red hot me and Oliver squashed to the wall in the shade and Ollie's just sudden himself up there about half past three we were all packed we just need to put our suitcases out after five um, and then tonight we're going to go for a nice meal and some drinks we're coming to the clubhouse, it's really red hot out there right now. We're gonna let the sun cool a little bit before we go back out. Just having a game of Yahtzee. It's a nice atmosphere out there, it's just very hot at the minute. It's such a peaceful afternoon. Yeah. Just show you my current view, so the sun is setting. I'll be watching that in the morning. There's an island there, I don't know what island it is though. This is so nice. So we're gonna we're just getting ready to go out now. Go and get some to eat, have a couple of drinks, make the most of our last last evening. We come to deck 17 because we want to go to the crow's nest and shock horror, we've not been here yet. We do it every holiday. Towards the end of the holiday we find something new. We knew that the crow's nest was here. Again we thought it was adult only, but we have been told it isn't. But to be fair. We've had such a good holiday, so it doesn't matter. Fancy. But it is fancy. It's right at the front of the ship, so it was more you'd ever see. Well, it was deck 17, wasn't it? Yeah. More you also got the Epicurean up here, which is a specialty restaurant. It's $30, sorry, £30 per person, as just as you deposit and then extras you pay for. We did look at the menu. It was just not our kind of thing. 
Yeah, that's it, Epicurean, Epicurean there. It just wasn't our kind of food. Yeah, so here we are. Oh, it looks nice. Oh well, yeah, definitely get a window seat, Ollie. That table over there looks nice, the corner one. So the couple that we met the other day, they said they came here and basically got looked up and down because of what they were wearing. Which may be the case this time, but to be fair, I'm a bit dressed up. Yeah, piano in the middle. So it looks amazing. So you just come in and sit where you want. So they're going to get a window area, which is just over here. The view is stunning. And they do have a menu on the table as well, but this is a current view that I have. Amazing. So this is stunning. Like definitely come to this on the beginning of your holiday, not on the last evening, like what we've done. So the menu just here. Is it just drinks here? Yeah. There's really nice atmosphere. Obviously, it's quite quiet at the minute. Presumably, like kids only after like midnight or something. Yeah, similar Seven to clubhouse. the clubhouse, yeah. I still like Anderson's a lot. I think Anderson's is probably still my favourite. It's nice in here though. So the drinks have come. Ollie's gone for a Bombay Sapphire with a tonic. Oliver's got a J2O and I've got an Amaretto with a splash of Coke. Free splash of Coke. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they have over It's really actually nice and peaceful here. So that was really nice in the crow's nest. We are on our way now. We just got in the queue for Zenith. So although we were waiting to kind of do Keel and Cow, we've all decided that Zenith is actually our favourite. Yeah, so we decided to do Zenith instead. Oh, this is the uh, menu for Epicurean, but like for Ollie, this is perfect for me and Oliver and I. Frog This is why it's £30 each before you even get started. I wonder if that changes every night. But it might do. But yeah, then you've got the ivory sweet there. It is posh in the Epicurean. So we have come to Zenith because we all chose this one as our last night on the ship. So this is the starters, thank you. Main course is tonight. Puddings and the chef's recommendations so 100% I'm going for the Thai vegetable spring rolls the chicken korma and the warm spice fruit and mandarin strudel oh it's a good menu tonight isn't it yeah. so these are the vegetable spring rolls Ollie's going for some panna cotta blue cheese panna cotta and then Oliver's got the spring rolls as well our main has come, Ollie has got the, was it the Venice? Venice and Lloyd's. So when I ordered it, it asked me if I wanted two, so I said no. And then we just brought it and it was like, I've got another one for you. I was like, no, I only want one, because the night I had two. Well, this looks really good. The service in the service in Senef is the best, I think. So quick update, they brought Ollie and have one, they already had one waiting for him, me. <laughs> really good one. Did you want a second one? Not originally, but now tasting it, yeah. It's really good. Play this quite amazing. <laughs> That's funny. Update. That was amazing. Probably the best meal we've had in Zenin. I'm just a really slow eat. Look at Ollie on your second plate. I'm still having pudding and a cup of tea. I can't believe it. I didn't sit in there late. I know. I told them I only wanted one. And then they brought me my first one. Finished it and they were like, oh, do you want another? I said, no, more good. He was like, oh, I've already got it there waiting. And that might as well then. I don't think you're going to complain, are you? No. It's not going to be happy when he goes home and he's only getting one meal. <laughs> They've both gone for the strudel and they asked us if we wanted ice cream as well and we just kind of said yes. So we've also got ice cream with a wafer. That's good. We've popped up to the basketball section just to let our food dry down a little bit. Go and have another drink somewhere. So again, it's just one that was up here. Same as the mini golf. There's nobody in here. So we'll make the most of it. Well, it's nice and quiet. It is fun to come up here on the evening, though. Just got back from Zenith. Had a really nice meal. Um, inserted the video of it. 
think that was the best meal we've had. Yeah, the staff are so nice there, they're so friendly. Yeah, so we've done that. Uh, we just finished the ship tour, so that'll be, after all the vlogs have gone out, that'll be the very last one. Uh, so I hope you enjoy that one as well. And we did go up to basketball and mini golf as well, it's so quiet. It's really cool out there, it's really warm on the ship tonight with it being such a hot day today. Yeah. But thank you for watching this vlog. Join us for the next one, which is going to be Travel Home Day. Boo. <laughs> Bye. Bye.